What's inside a Catholic church? We thought we'd shoot a couple of videos for children and their parents to talk about what is inside a Catholic church and the importance of the things that are in there and the images for our Catholic faith. Welcome to St. Rosalima Church in Freehold, New Jersey. This is Lucy Primus with me, Steve Olson, and we're gonna be talking to you in these three little installments about what's inside a Catholic church. So without waiting any further, let's go inside and find out. Welcome. So we're just inside the St. Rosalima Chapel and to the right as you come in, maybe you've noticed it if you've been here before, there's a little room. And this room has a kind of a special name, it's called a sacristy. And a sacristy is basically a room for holy things. It contains the holy things that are used in the celebration of the Mass. Let's find out what's in there. Good morning. Okay. There's a cabinet here with a number of white robes. And these are the robes that are worn by altar servers. Altar servers uh, are normally children, but sometimes they're adults. And the altar servers are the people who carry in the cross, carry in the candles, and help set up the chapel and the church for the celebration of Mass. They carry communion wear, they light the candles, and they do a whole bunch of other things in the course of the celebrations of our liturgy. Uh, perhaps some of you are or have been altar servers, uh, and if you're not, you might want to think about it, because it's a great way to learn about the Catholic faith and also be, be able to serve your local parish. So this is the cabinet with the altar server robes, and before Mass begins, you will find them in here, uh, putting on their robes and getting ready for the celebration of Mass. There's another cabinet just across from the altar server robes, and these are the robes that are worn by our priests. And if you notice, they come in the different colors uh, Mrs. Primus, you might want to just take one off the rack and take it down. This is a green one. These robes are called chasubles. And chasubles come from a Latin word, casula, meaning cloak. In ancient times, they were worn by Romans on the streets and were later taken into the Catholic Church in her worship. And now, when priests come in to celebrate the Mass, they wear a chasuble. Notice they come in different colors. This one is green. The colors signify different liturgical seasons. Uh, Mrs. Primus, when might a priest be wearing a green chasuble? Green chasuble is worn during what's called ordinary time. Right, ordinary time. Uh, and there are two periods of ordinary time during the liturgical year, and that's actually the longest liturgical season of the year. So that's green. What other colors do we have? Okay. Well, we can talk about the season we're in right now. The season we're in right now. This, we're shooting this video. Um, we're shooting this video mm -hmm. during the week after Easter. Um, and the color for the Easter season, Mrs. Primus, is? White. White or gold. White or gold. So that's the color white. Uh, what other colors do we have here? Color red. red. Red will be worn uh, during the festival of Pentecost, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, and it signifies the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, what other color do we have? We have one hanging right there by you. Mm -hmm. And, and that is purple. Purple. Yeah. And purple is worn when? Purple is worn during the season of Advent and the season that we went through not too long ago, the season of Lent. The season of Lent. So I think we've covered all the all the liturgical colors, yes? Yes. And the seasons. Okay. Next to the vestment case are a series of cabinets in the sacristy which contain the items used in the celebration of the Mass. And these are the holiest things. You might want to open those cabinets so... 
the children can have a look. These are, you can see all the vessels uh, that are used in the celebration of Mass, and they're kept here. Uh, over on the left there, you can see a couple of bottles of wine that are used in the celebration of the Mass. But we have a couple of these items here uh, to take a look at. And the first is a large bowl called the Chiborium. And what, what goes in the Chiborium, Mrs. Primus? That is the hose, consecration hose that is used by the priest. That's the, right. that's the host used by the priest when he consecrates the bread and wine um, for the mass. And you can see it's, it's perforated so that it's, the priest can easily break it into a number of pieces. I once counted the number, there's 23 pieces there. But that is the, the host that the priest will hold up when he consecrates it. And of course, as Catholics, we believe that when the consecration prayer is offered, that this host becomes the body of Christ. Um, so in that container, we don't just have the host, but all the, the hosts for the people are carried up to the altar by gift bearers in the chaborium. Chaborium means container of bread. Right next to it is a flagon, and that's where the wine for the mass that will be consecrated by the priest is carried forward by gift bearers. Um, what else do we have here? We have a chalice, and the chalice is will ultimately contain the wine that the priest will consecrate and become the blood of Christ. And there are all kinds of shapes and sizes and materials for chalices. Um, we have them in wood, ceramic, gold, and silver. So there's all kinds of chalices, but this is the special cup into which we pour the wine that will become the blood of Christ. Okay, what else do we have? We have another kind of bowl and another container. What, what is in that container? There's water in here. Okay, and that water will be added to the chalice, a drop of it before the consecration takes place. Um, and also that bowl will be held by the altar servers when they mm -hmm. pour the water over the priest's hands before he celebrates the Eucharist. Yes? Correct. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I think we're kind of, we've gotten through most of what is the important things that are here in the sacristy. But just to be aware that the sacristy, although it's a little room, it contains a lot of very important things that we use in the celebration of the Mass. We're going to conclude this video by, by entering the chapel and looking at where the holy water is kept. But before we do, on our way out, this is the processional cross that the altar servers carry uh, in the procession that begins the Mass. And it's kind of heavy, so you've got to be strong to carry that processional cross. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay, so we're going into the chapel now. And just when we get in, before we do anything else, most Catholics come and they dip their hands in the holy water and they make the sign of the cross. And that water, Mrs. Primus, signifies what? It's for our bat signifies our, the water that's used at our baptism. Right. When we are born into the church. Right. Whether it's as infants or as adults. Right. Uh, perhaps you were baptized as a child, but a lot of Catholics are baptized as an adult. And when we come into any Catholic church, before we sit down, we dip our hands into the holy water, make the sign of the cross, and that reminds us of our baptism into the family of Jesus. Okay, um, that just about concludes this first in installment. Uh, the next video, we'll, we were gonna, we're gonna talk about everything that takes place on the altar. And in the distance, down front, you can see the altar, and that is where we will be in part two. Be well, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.